Hello, my name is Erin Feiger, and I'm a partner just like you, who's been using the Microsoft Partner Programs and Tools for over a decade. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly find your global MPN ID number inside your Microsoft Partner Center portal. And while we're there, I'm going to explain the difference between your global MPN ID and your location IDs. One of the top questions I get asked by partners is, I need to verify my global MPN ID number, or I can't remember what my global MPN ID number is. Um, how do I find that in Partner Center? So don't worry, this is very easy to find. Um, and why don't we go out to Partner Center so I can show you where to quickly find that information and explain the difference between your global MPN ID number and your location IDs. So once logged into Partner Center, we're going to click on the configuration wheel in this upper right hand corner and go to account settings. Under account settings, the fastest place to find your MPN ID number is actually under the identifiers page. Here under the identifiers page at the very top, you will see your global MPN ID number. You will also see uh, at least one location ID. You may see more location IDs, that all depends on how you are going to market and partnering with Microsoft. But what's the difference between the global um, MPN ID number and the location MPN ID numbers? Um, basically, think about it as your global ID number. Microsoft will refer to that as your PGA number, your partner global account. The PGA number is meant to represent all the non-transactional activities you're doing with Microsoft. Um, Microsoft is going to store the agreements you sign, the type of partner you are, um, the declarations you've earned, all get stored at the global MPN ID number. And that global MPN um, location is typically the headquarters of your company. Then the location IDs, Microsoft will refer to that as a PLA, a partner location account. Um, at the location level is where Microsoft will start to track all the transactions you're doing with Microsoft or um, all the incentive programs that you've enrolled in and the earnings that you've um, made from those incentives. Uh, so at the general level, your global account is meant for non-transactional activities. Your location accounts are meant for transactional activities. And the way I like to think about it is lo locations are about the flow of money. So how am I selling uh, Microsoft products and um, how am I earning incentives and where does that money need to flow to? Um, it's going to be how I set up those locations. So the core tip of the day is um, if you need to get access to your global MPN ID number, come out here and go to the identifiers page. That is going to be the best place to find your global ID number and your location IDs. I'm Erin Feiger, and I really hope this information was helpful for you. Um, thank you for joining me on this journey inside of Microsoft's Partner Center portal. Mm -hmm.